Hello guys, welcome to another review here in PT Target where we love air guns. We will talk about the Gamo HPA uh, MI. Uh, it's a tactical looking gun uh, and I must say I'm very impressed with the general quality and the general materials they use and how much they offer. Okay, This is a gun that costs uh, 240 euros here uh, in Europe. Uh, it comes at least uh, the calipers that I know here in Europe. Uh, it's uh, 4.4 uh, 4 or 177, uh, 0.22 or 5.5 millimeters or uh, 0.25 or 6.35 uh, uh, as we talk here in Portugal. Uh, so it comes with a whisper technology. These have some baffles right here in the end of the barrel. Here is a hair stripper. Okay, uh, so uh, this gun comes with a bipod and it comes with the scope. I must say, Gamu really needs to do one of the things or they don't offer the scope because it will break or will not keep the zero or uh, they just don't uh, don't offer the scope and they put a lower price okay because in the end you will spend money on a new scope uh, so you will have more 70 75 euros minimum to buy a decent scope this is a gamu uh, this is a hawk vantage uh, 3 by 9 uh, times 40 um, so it's a real good scope it's suited for uh, spring guns and gas spring okay or gas ram uh, so here the barrel is really really well made I must say Gamo really really uh, performs well with their barrels uh, especially the ones who are just metal and they don't have this plastic cover okay like uh, on the uh, Gamo uh, Magnum uh, that is the most accurate barrel uh, they have okay um, I don't say that I'm not saying that this kind of barrel is not good it is good uh, but when you need to go further and you shoot uh, longer shots you really need those three centimeters and a half that uh, the normal barrel have and uh, you need a stronger bridge here okay uh, I noticed that with this barrel, this type of system here is not so strong, like it's too light, okay? So um, I think Gamu should do an upgrade and I understand that this, it's okay. Most of the people, they don't shoot their air rifles like more than 250 shots, which is a small box of a uh, small tin of pellets. But this uh, should be in metal, okay? Please, Gamo, just do it, okay? Um, here, uh, the bridge is very solid, okay? It breaks very, very easily uh, and it closes very solid, okay? No fails at all. Uh, the sealing of the, um, of the O-ring is just perfect. Gamo, in general, uh, in my opinion, Gamo rifles have a really good factory standards, okay, which the, the entrance of the barrel it's perfectly aligned with the uh, transfer port, okay. So this will allow a perfect um, propulsion of the pellet, okay, and perfect alignment. So the gun width will uh, jump straight into your shoulder with uh, less recoil, okay, or more straight uh, forward uh, recoil, uh, which results in better accuracy at long range. Uh, so, here the bluing is just a very nice typical bluing from Gamo. Uh, the scope is the 39 from Hawk that I bought. Uh, here in this rifle we have the cat trigger, so custom action trigger instead the uh, sat trigger. Uh, this allows two uh, different adjustments. Um, 
the safety is manual, is not automatic, which for the people who are used to this type of uh, uh, safety on the gamble, it's perfectly okay to me, it's perfectly okay when I walk on the woods, uh, I just put in safe um, and normally I don't forget because my brain is, is automatically set up for that. Uh, of course, if you have automatic safety where when you cock the gun it will engage, uh, it's even more safe and you can disengage or engage like the Walter LGV or LGU, okay? That is even better. But this is a typical system from Gamo, it's perfectly okay. Um, one of the things here, the trigger is just fantastic. Like I told in the other review, it's a very predictable trigger. Uh, it has really, really good feeling. Um, it's very transparent and um, it gives you a, a crisp break. Okay? So here you have this uh, polymer stock, which is statical, it's very straight, very vertical here, like a pistol grip. Uh, the cheek piece uh, only goes up, it doesn't tilt, but is also perfectly okay. You can have a really good alignment uh, for your scope. Here, the butt pad is the typical butt pad from Gamo, okay? These bipods, they are pretty stable and the sides I just remove, okay? This one I can't remove, but I, I remove this uh, fiber optic part. Um, they are true glue and they are really, really precise. To me, I use all my guns with the scope, so I just remove, I think it looks better, <laughs> more tactical. Uh, here, it's just uh, a line, a cotton line to uh, understand where the wind is uh, pointing, okay, the direction of the wind. Uh, and yeah, so what I did in this rifle, I did a few changes. As I do to all my rifles, uh, you should do too, but I will make a, a video explaining what you should do when you buy a rifle. Um, I clean all the barrel really, really clean until like there is no dirt at all. Okay. Um, then the bridge here, when you buy this rifle or any gamma rifle with polymer, okay, which is basically all the gamma rifles less the, the G Magnum uh, Grizzly, uh, which have a, a bridge in metal. You should, I will put a photo, you should um, take the burrs from, from the bridge, okay? I will, I will um, take a photo and I will show you here what to do. Uh, because this will simply cut uh, this part of the bridge and then the barrel will close but it will not have the same position all the time and it will shake, it will do like this, uh, a lateral movement uh, because it will cut here some pieces of plastic uh, that helps uh, making contact with the bridge, like to stabilize horizontally. Um, so this is a must do here on a rifle, in every gun, gun of rifles. Uh, I polish the whole interior, I polish uh, the piston, I polish the, the trigger, I change the screw, it's a bigger screw, so it will allow me to put the gun uh, right on point when you can have, uh, where you can have a hair trigger, okay? Uh, of course the warranty doesn't cover that. And um, I did another thing. In order to use these pellets, the, the GSP 1590, okay, these are committed but it's basically the same, I had to put a little bit more power. This gun was shooting around 200 meters per second, 198, it's pretty consistent, 
but it needs more power to shoot this pellet. For the long range, it is better, okay? So I put two washers at the front of the, um, of the gas ram, uh, right on the junction. Uh, here is the end of the gas ram, here is the trigger, you put here between the piston, okay? I put two millimeters of compression and it gave me a very, very uh, good result, okay? Uh, you'll see the accuracy is just outstanding. Um, overall, the gun is really good for the price, it's very nice. Um, one last thing that gun really, really needs to do, okay? Uh, and I think they need to do it in all the polymer guns, less the CFX and uh, the Black Shadow, okay? Uh, more weight. Here I had to put more 300 grams of lead inside the, um, the stock, in this part of the stock, okay? There are some small entrances, I made some molds and I put lead inside there, okay? Uh, so right now the gun is balanced and it is really really good, okay? The weight is much better. So. Without wasting more time, let's go to the range and let's shoot at 30 meters and 50 meters. Hello guys, so now we will shoot at 30 and 50 meters. One of the things that I forgot is this. Uh, here you have a position, okay, where you can put your hand like this, okay. Uh, it's like I told you, it's a tactical rifle. So, this is the kind of things you get, okay? So, let's try my luck. There is a little bit of wind, like uh, 7 kilo kilometers per hour wind. Uh, let's see what happens at 30 meters. I will shoot at the center, but uh, I believe uh, the shot will go a little bit to the left. I don't, I don't have sure. So, let's see. I just pull this shot. My mistake. So first shot. It was not a good shot. It was my fault. So let's try again. Okay, this one was better inside the blue. Five shots group. Then in the end we'll do the 50 meters and then we'll shoot the three targets and plus uh, the pigeon, okay? Okay, inside the blue is performing well. This gun is in general is very accurate. Uh, the only problem with these guns are just the weight is just too light, but if you know how to change a little bit, you can do marvels with these guns, and they look good. Okay, uh, I believe this. Uh, I believe Gamel wants to to give you a gun that shots pretty much between uh, 15 meters and 35 meters with great accuracy out of the factory with the medium weight pellet like uh, the 15.9 grains. Uh, the others below lighter pellet is not so accurate. Uh, the 18 also are good, okay? Um, but the ones that perform uh, the best in this rifle are the uh, the heavies, okay? The jumbo, jumbo. So three shots. The first one, uh, it was my mistake. Let's go for the fourth one. Oh, a little bit to the right. Too much talk, I believe. I 
I went out of the zone. So let's let's try the fifth shot. I don't know where it was. Uh, I believe it was also on the center. So overall at 30 meters, uh, the gun is just good. Okay, uh, my trigger is set on a very light spec, um, almost a air trigger, uh, but it's just perfect for the kind of shoot that I like. Okay, so. Let's jump to the 50 meters. Wish me luck. Okay guys, here we are back to the 50 meters range where we'll shoot the typical uh, PT target, uh, uh, paper target with uh, the 25 mils or 2.5 uh, centimeters uh, center, the blue, and the red is 40 millimeters or 4 centimeters. Okay, we'll try to hit it uh, at 50 meters uh, and then we'll shoot the three round targets who, ha who are like 5 centimeters and then we'll shoot uh, the pigeon, a metal pigeon, which is a knockdown target uh, that I made. Um, I do these targets. And I have much more, but I will start a small online shop uh, and then you'll be able to uh, buy uh, spinners, all the kind of fun targets that you want, okay? Um, the pigeon is a typical field target uh, target and uh, it have a kill zone of 4 centimeters, okay? Wish me luck, this gun is made to perform good up to 35 meters okay so let's see what we will be able to do at 50 meters there is a little uh, slight breeze um, it's pulling a little bit to the right but let's see how it goes okay the first shot was really good was inside the blue Let's see if the others find the same the same way. Okay, this one was not so good, but still touching the the red circle, which is pretty good. Uh, in the end, will not be a four centimeters group, but it will be much less. Okay, another one, this one I can't see where it is, um, it's too far, this, this one only have, this scope only have uh, 9 times uh, of zoom, uh, and this set now at 8 times, okay? Okay, this one was pulled a little bit to the right. At this distance is normal with this kind of gun. It's a light gun. It's like I told you. Uh, it's very old, sensitive. Okay, uh, Gamus rifles, especially the the polymer ones, um, they are very old, sensitive. Um, at the same time, they are very light, very fun for plinking, uh, and plenty of uh, power to hunt. So that's up to you. Uh, depends what you want to do. Uh, anyway, you get a, a very good rifle for the money. Uh, a little bit overpriced due to the combo, uh, which comes with the scope and the bipods. Uh, in my opinion, I I don't like uh, the bipods. I like uh, shooting like I'm shooting now. Um, at the same time. I advise Gamble to n offer um, just the gun with the bipods, uh, possibly 
without uh, without the scope or just upgrade the scope okay a little bit more quality for 240 euros i think is uh, the customer deserves okay okay i don't know what i should let me go for the three targets okay wish me luck the last video I failed one. I have the wind coming from the right to the left. And let me see. Okay. One down. At least one we already have on the pocket. What? This one touch the side, the right side, and let me see. Ah, the wind just pulled to the left. Let me see if I if I have lucky this time. Ah, yeah. No, it was the wind. The wind is pulling from my back uh, to the left. So at 50 meters, you, the the pallet is pulled around three centimeters more or less. If I'm aiming to the center, so now. We'll try the um, the center the um, the center no the the head shot on the pigeon. You see the small circle, black circle. Uh, I will try to give a head shot. Oh yeah, <laughs> right there, <laughs> right under the black circle. The secret with this gun is you need to. Push it against your shoulder, okay? Push it hard. Otherwise it will jump and the pallet goes all the way off. So let's try the center, the kill zone. Ah, totally off, yeah. So I just failed the, the, the target. Um, what I think about this gun? This gun uh, worth the 240 euros. Um, I will say no, because um, you have other options. Okay, uh, you have Cometa, you have uh, Varoche H double fifty, which I already did the review. I have uh, Varoche H double fifty, um, and to me, the price of this rifle should be like two hundred ten. 220 euros with the bipods okay um, the work I did in this gun uh, most of the people they don't do uh, so she will not uh, perform as good as it, uh, she's performing now um, but overall up to 30 meters is more than okay for the majority of the shooters uh, the normal shooter okay a person that shoots like not even a tin of pellets uh, of 250 pellets during uh, an entire year uh, it's perfectly okay uh, just for plinking it's okay uh, also for hunt up to 30 meters is perfectly okay more than that uh, the pellets will jump from one side to the other and it's hard to, to keep it stable okay uh, remember in this gun I change the the trigger, the, um, the screw. I put more 300 grams here in this area um, and I polish the whole interior and I put uh, proper grease and I also clean the, um, uh, the barrel. Uh, I also made an upgrade on the scope um, so it's extra 75 euros. Um, if you should buy this gun 
uh, yes, uh, if you are into a tactical rifle, a, ta a tactical uh, stock, uh, which looks really good. Uh, it was the reason why I bought this rifle. I, I just saw her and I thought, oh, this gun uh, will be really cool to shoot. So let's see how, how, how she performs. Um, and yeah, it's perfectly okay just for blinking on a bad character, it's, it's okay. Uh, but don't expect a super performance as you get uh, from a Vahaus, uh, which is the same price, basically more 15, 20 euros. Um, or for example, a Kumita. Okay, I will have a Kumita uh, Fenix 400 uh, GP uh, to make a review. Uh, but first I have a few more guns uh, that comes first okay guys thank you very much uh, for all your support uh, thank you for subscribe to my channel is is growing really really well and uh, thank you for your comments and private messages um, I will answer uh, everyone as soon as possible uh, and Please uh, put a thumbs up, <laughs> it always helps the, the channel and uh, see you on the next review, okay? Uh, all the best and stay safe.